economic importance of food. There are some species that are primary, primary pests in agriculture. They cause direct damage to the mob part that appears inside the plant tissue, and also they cause direct damage to the transmission of phosphorylic, like the tomatoes, for the little bit, as you can see in the picture of, of a pepper. So, why do we require biosafes, bacteria, to control environments in chambers? Well, it is important because the necessary testing, the screening, insecticide, and antimal pathogens, also is important for life cycle studies, for behavioral studies, interaction with hot plants, interaction with natural enemies, pathogen transmission studies, and biochemistry and molecular studies. But there are some challenges at the moment to work with trees in laboratory. Why? Because they are small, they are easily damaged, are very active, are, they escape easily from containers, are very susceptible to extreme moisture, both moisture excess and dehydration are detrimental to trees. And also, if we want or we need to start a colony, is necessary and of opposition and occupation substrate. In the history of the study of trees, there have been several biosafe chambers. Biosafe chambers proposed. Some of them using using living plants in laboratory. The chambers are built in, in, in living in living leaves. Other kinds of chambers are using parts of leaves or detached leaves. But all these one, all these chambers have disadvantages. The disadvantages are because chambers on leaves on plants in general have difficult handling of all plant, of all plants. It's difficult the monitoring using a microscope. On the other hand, chambers using size leaves or leaves fragments, they decay easily. The leaves that will be really soon and the leaves go got more growth. And they when we replace the leaves, the, the trees escape from the container. That was the reason that we proposed the next objective that was to develop a simple effective biosafe chamber to work with trees. Easy to, easy to handle, along with the observation with certain disturbance, with acceptable direction of the poor source, and low cost. To achieve our objective, we have several fields. We test using a leaf on moist, moist blooded pa paper in a small petri dish. But Using this method, we got we got condensation water into the chamber, and the trip drowned. We use testing a cucumber in a jar, but this method was failed because sometimes the cucumber rolled in the in each of the jar, and also was necessary frequent change of the cucumber because it decayed easily. We test. Sanction on coating in, in a yard, but they, this coating sometimes has residual pesticides. And we test, we use a leaf in a yard with a couple with a cup of water. But sometimes with this method, the, the water uh, spills. And what difficult the monitoring using a microscope. But at the end, we found the best way to keep a long time trees living in a, in a leaf using, I'm gonna describe, I'm gonna mention this material that we use, we built, we will build a, a chamber that keep doing that, doing floor than, than 10 days living trees. We use a couple of, of bottoms of petri dish, paraffin, um, filter paper dish, as food, we use a, a bell leaf, a cotton wick, a crobial, that is a, a 
plastic tube and to seal the leaf into the, 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 the cryo belt we use a light up. This is the, the chamber that we propose. We use two windows of filter paper, then leave, we seal all around the, the chamber with using paraffin. Uh, we use as nutrient nutrient solution uh, a commercial <laughs> commercial product. I cut the cotton with in, into inside the the, the crab gel. We seal we seal the uh, the plastic tube to the petri dish using hot silicone. And this this work over the soul. We got. Get adult fish alive during floods during more than 10 days on a single leaf with a credit disturbance with good visualization of the arena and easy manipulation. Also, we got oil position, we got trips, trips from, from the leaf, uh, from the left, from the left, from the leaf. We got uh, even a few pupils and all this in, in small space, in low cost. To test our chamber, we we made two assays. In the first assay, we test, we use 16 cage, six trips per cage, and we daily count the trip, the living trips. And we, in this assay, we, we put the chamber on a flat space. Our result were that at six days, we had 70% of the living trees. And the second assay was uh, similar to the first. But now, using 16 chambers, 10 trees from the other chambers, we count again daily, daily counts of the trees. But now, we use a um, germination tray to keep vertical each chamber. Our results of the second thing was that, again, at six days, we got 78% of the survival trips. And we consider, we consider this percentage enough to perform biocell, and to perform biocell uh, investigation. For example, testing insecticide, testing entomopathogens, entomopathogens, even testing natural enemies. To finish, the cost per case was calculated and we earned around of one dollar. The most expensive concept to build the chamber was the manufacturing label, around 12 pesos. <coughs> for me, that's all, and thank you.